Um, I'm going to be doing a review on my vest. Multiple vests I have. Um, first one is, I just got this today. I really don't know a name for it. Um, I just call it armored, plain armored vest. Um, I got it off eBay for 35 including shipping. Because I already tested this vest. Vest, and I think it's worth it. I haven't done a lot of tests with it, but I've done multiple tests with metal BBs, um, 12 gram, 20 gram, 30 gram, and 15 gram BBs, and uh, it's with CO2, green gas, and regular string powered and battery powered. Uh, I don't know what's going to be like out in the field or anywhere if I test to play with my friends or anything, but so far my opinion on this is good. Uh, it's adjustable, kind of like a real one, like a real one. You pull this and it comes off. Uh, these are adjustable. It's just like foam. Um, it's just all foam inside, with fabric on the outside. Uh, I just got it today, so I don't know what it's really going to do yet. So hopefully I'll get to test this fully soon, and then... I'll do a re actual review on it. This is just showing all my vests. So I'll get into my other one. This is a um aftermath some kind of aftermath vest. Uh this vest I've been played I've played with this and it holds most of everything in it. You can probably fit an AK mag, maybe two AK mags in the mag pouches. Um, it has two mag pouches and three uh, rifle pouches, rifle mag pouches. I'll get an AK mag to show you right now. Alright, I'll just bring all my stuff over here. Um, if it's an AK mag, you might be able to fit. If you double stack it, it'll be really tight though. You might be able to fit two in there. It'll close. I don't know about if it'll close with two, but if it doesn't, just put it on the knee so it's a fast pull out. No. And then stick it in your gun. It will fit. If you go like this, not turn it sideways like this, turn it like this, and if you have an open, maybe it'll fit three MP7 mags, I'm not sure, um, this definitely will not fit like a Mac 10 or 11 mag, uh, if you want like quick go, I don't know why you use it as a primary, but it will fit them, but still I don't know why you use it as a primary, it will fit, um, CO2 mags for the Sigma 40F. Um, there's, a, there's a big mag pouch over here. I, that's where I store my extra mag for it. Um, the mag pouches over here, they'll fit maybe up to a high cap of mag. And uh, these will fit maybe two or three uh, sniper mags. It's an L96. Uh, it has multiple mag pouch, like multiple pouches on it. Utility pouches. Hold on a sec. Um, I have. I used to carry a first aid kit on this, and under this, there's a big pocket. You stick it in there. Nice and velcro. It's nice velcro on here. It's not gonna rip out very easily. If you, you if you run, it won't come out. But um, the mag. There's a pouch over this uh, pouch I usually put my cell phone in. So that's what I'm recording with right now. So um, over here there is, I expect this to be some kind of walkie pouch. But up here this grenade pouch I use for my walkie. That's what I use for my walkie. And um, it will fit most mags. Definitely M4 mags. That's a definite. Then um. Get a smaller one now. This is a um 
real one. Sorry if I just dropped it. This is a real army vest. My mom got for me. I think it's our um Swiss Army, not Swiss Army store. It's kind of Army Navy store, local Army Navy store. Um, it's real, so obviously we'll have m multiple pouches, two grenade pouches I expect. Um, multiple pouches, relatively the same as the other pouches on my aftermath vest. They'll fit up to one AK mag. I don't know if anyone else would have this because it's a real one, not made for airsoft. But it won't, like these pouches won't fit a gun. Like, maybe, maybe if you want to. But you're going to have to make it secure in there. Um, this gun definitely fits in there. The mag in, it's going to be heavy so it might you run, lay down or something, or prone, it'll probably fall out. You might have to button it. I'm sure they have, yeah, you know, that would work. If you button it, it won't fall out. Um, I used this before, and it was good. I used the drop leg holster for my um, sidearm, a uh, baby high capo. Uh, but still a good vest. So, all these vests I'd recommend buying. Um, when I do the review of this vest, I will post on there the guy I got this from. He sells um, black, OD, and tan. Uh, the OD one's pretty nice. The tan, you might want to use for under your vest. Like, if you wear, like, a tactical rig, not an actual molly play carrier, uh, then that would work out good. But this isn't an actual molly. It's just Velcro on here. If you have extra room, some relatively thin, I'd say. Um, might be able to fit so on here. If you're a bigger person or you're just really tall or something. So that's a review of all my best. Thank you and subscribe and watch all of my other videos.